Hi guys, today we're gonna show you how to do to bypass Google account on a ZTA Z981. So after you do the hard reset, you can check that on the other videos videos that we uploaded. Uh, you're gonna see and you turn on the phone. This is the main page that you're gonna see. First, we're gonna with two fingers we're gonna press the screen. Touching the screen until you hear a beep to enable accessibility mode. There you go. Until you hear the accessibility mode is enabled. Then after that we're gonna click on exit twice. There you go. There you go. Once you see this, you go like a U shape, and then you will see Google right here. We're gonna disable that accessibility mode. We're gonna press the two volume and um, up and down volume at the same time and we're gonna see a message back. she spend the she spent talk back we're gonna press okay, okay. twice talk back suspended. perfect now we're gonna go to Google and then we're gonna no tanks okay here we're gonna do right Android Android there you go because we're looking for stock Android once you see that you just press stock Android boom location permissions so we're gonna click on that one allow and there you go we are on the uh, home of the phone okay but this if you keep it this way it's not gonna work once you're gonna reset restart your phone it's gonna go back again and ask you for the Google account but what we have to do we go to um, home or oh, to the menu and then we go to lockout this green icon perfect we click on it and then just get started and check next and check next and check next and check new user so don't worry about uh, putting any emails or password we're just gonna go back 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 okay here we're gonna go to Google Chrome accept and continue add an account no thanks Okay, let me just log into my Wi-Fi first. Give me one second. Okay, settings. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi. I'm just gonna do this because my Wi-Fi is faster than my um, data internet. So we go zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. By the way, this is the password of my Wi-Fi, so it's not something that you have to put the same. Okay, once you put the Wi-Fi, I'm just going to go back. If you already connected, you don't have to do this step. I'm just going to go back to Google Chrome. You're just going to write Google.com. Okay, here we're going to write on the search Android. Android test DPC. D as in David, P as in Patrick, C as in K, DPC, press search, and we're gonna load the, you're gonna see right here, closer, uh, test DPC 3.0.11, this is the new version for this APK, I'm gonna click on it, and we're gonna load it, okay, right here, load, Okay, click here, start download, update permission, so they're going to take us to the permission. So if you see this, it's like a message for, you don't need them. Go back to the settings. So let's see if we can delete all of this, I can't. Just going to go back, try to delete, okay. You know, write google.com so I don't see those messages. Ok, 
Okay. So and move all of these, go back. We're gonna go to the settings. Go to settings, go to security. Okay, we'll go to security right here and then go to unknown sources. As you can see, we're gonna enable it, press OK. And let me see. Yes, we're gonna go back now to go back. Uh, for some reason you always have to push twice so you can go back Okay, for the settings we go back again to file manager. That's where we're gonna find the file that we downloaded before So go download. Uh, I think I have it right here. There you go. That's the The uh, the APK that we have to install. Let's see if we can install it. There you go. We can so it is install Okay closer. There you go and stall and accept and just let it do uh, uh, the job there you go it shows app installed we're gonna click on open and set up manage profile or you know what set up as a new owner set up device owner so it's like then for the first time okay set up set up click on ok and just leave it installing on on its own and it keeps just moving it's just installing you don't have to worry about that okay now what we have to do we're just gonna go back to settings settings and then we go to backup and reset okay factory data reset reset the phone and then we're gonna erase everything so make sure if you have any memory to just save that on a, another drive and do the reset on the phone okay so after your phone reset successfully you just go next you're gonna put the Wi-Fi for your network I can just follow just the step and your phone is ready ready to go it's not gonna ask you for anything 